glitter on this brighter? No. That should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Paris haul. If you follow me on Instagram and you also been watching my Paris vlogs then you would have seen it that me and Talia went to Paris for my 25th birthday. We went for the weekend, we went out on Thursday the 1st of December and we come back on Sunday the 4th. We had an amazing weekend, I absolutely love Paris, I literally would move to Paris, like I want to move to Paris. I'm in love with the city, it is a beautiful place. So a quick review if you haven't watched my vlogs. Um, on the Friday we spent the whole day in Disneyland Paris and then on the Saturday we went to the places like Notre Dame, the Christmas market, we went ice skating, we also went to the Eiffel Tower and we did a tour of Paris. We put a besties friendship block on on Lovelock Bridge. Well, it's not even like a bridge anymore, it's like a corner. <laughs> but we've done all those things on the Saturday and then Sunday we went shopping. So I did pick a few bits and bobs up, something from Disneyland, um, well actually three things from Disneyland. Um, I went to Sephora as well and then a few other bits and bobs. Nothing too exciting. Um, Paris is a very dear place and by the time Sunday came I didn't have that much money left if I'm perfectly honest. But yeah, I did just wanna run through the few things that I bought, just to share with you all as well. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up in Paris, then just keep watching. So the first thing I picked up in Paris, and probably the most fun thing, is these. <laughs> How cute are they? These are obviously a pair of mini years. Um, we opted for the pink sequin years and then the pink polka dot uh, bow. There are so many different like headbands and stuff in Disneyland and I really don't think that you can go to Disneyland without picking a pair of these up. Um, it should be mandatory that you need to buy a pair of these. But me and Talia bought the same and we wore it all day on the Friday and I just think they're so cute. They are a bit expensive though. These were like 16 euros just for a headband. Like I would never pay that in a normal circumstance because that is quite expensive. But when you're in Disneyland, it is just so magical anyway that you need these, I think, just to fully enjoy the day and embrace the inner child in you. But yeah, I thought these were really cute. I thought they looked like, <laughs> I thought they looked really cute. So we opted for these ones. You've probably seen in my pictures that we wore these like literally all day. Um, but everybody does they, whether you're five, whether you're 10, whether you're bloody 25 like me, everybody had like Disney years on or a Disney hat or something like that. So yeah, these are the first things that I picked up in Disneyland. So the second thing that I picked up in Disneyland was two baubles. Every time I've been to Disneyland at Christmas time, this was actually the third time that I'd gone at this time of the year, I always pick up a Disney bauble, mainly for my mother, um, for the tree downstairs. I normally pick up like a gold glittery type of bauble. But this year, they was very much similar to the ones I'd already picked up uh, in the previous years that I'd been. So and now that I have a nice tree, in my bedroom, I decided that I was going to pick up two baubles for my tree. So this is the first one. This is literally my favourite bauble of all time. It is literally just a glass bauble and it has big Tinkerbell at the top and then it also has the castle. Let me just, you can see my ring light in the reflection of it. So that is what that looks like. It is a beautiful bauble. The castle, the roofs are all glittery and Tinkerbell is glittery at the top and then the base has a nice pink glitter as well. Um, because my tree is pink, silver and gold I thought this would go lovely and obviously the pop of blue just brings it all to life. The big ring reflection that you can see is my ring light. So yeah this is the first bauble and it sits lovely on my tree and it matches in with everything and I absolutely love it. This was, oh the price said on it. Oh the price was on it. I think this was like 12 euros. I think, I'm not too sure. But if you are a Disney fanatic like me and you also love Christmas, then you cannot go to Disneyland at Christmas time and just not pick a bauble up. You just can't do it, it's just, you just can't. So the second bauble that I picked up in Disneyland is this. This is a clear bauble and it has a nice bit of fluff on top and it has Sleeping Beauty on the inside. So Sleeping Beauty's dress is all glittery and then it has some like pink, glittery snowflakes on the side as well and then like I said a big fluffy like pom-pom type thing on top. Um, it would make more sense to pick up the 
Disney princess that was my favourite, but my favourite is Elsa and she's blue and it just wouldn't go with my tree. So I did pick up Sleeping Beauty because she's pink, because I'm OCD and I wanted it to match my tree and my bedroom. But yeah, I absolutely love this bauble as well. I just love Disney guys, like I am a bit of a Disney like freak and I just love it. I would have, I would have bought every bauble there if I could. But obviously I couldn't. So yeah, this sits on my tree lovely as well. And I think this one was 10 euro. I think this was a little bit cheaper than the previous bauble. But yeah, that is the second bauble that I bought in Disney. So that's all I bought from Disneyland. Um, moving on now, the Saturday, we actually went down to Champs-Elysees. That's how you pronounce it. I don't really know. We went down there at the Christmas market. We didn't really buy anything there. It was a lot of like foodie type stalls and like scarves and stuff like that. Lovely stuff, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't the type of stuff that we wanted. So we sadly didn't purchase anything from the Christmas market. But then on the Sunday, we went to the same place, but we didn't go to the Christmas market. We just went to like all the shops instead. And we spent the day shopping there. So there is two little things that I picked up in like a little arcade shop. Um, just because I thought they looked really cute and I just really liked them. Because I'm just like that. So the first thing that I picked up was this. This is actually a tea tray, so like you put your tea bags on me, but because it's pink and it had like a beautiful picture of the Eiffel Tower and it says Paris and I said something else there but I can't pronounce it because I don't speak French. I thought this would be a lovely little like tray to put like my jewellery on or like some cute little bits and bobs just to keep it in my bedroom. Um, so I picked this up. They had it in loads of different styles and loads of different colours but obviously my bedroom is grey and pink and I'm like OCD so I wanted it to match. Um, but yeah, this just lives on my chest of drawers behind me and I put like my rings on me and like my jewellery that I'm taking off for the night, like for instance if I'm like, about to get in the shower, I'll pop like my jewellery on there and stuff like that. And I think it just works really well, it also looks really nice in like flat lay photos if you are a bit of a photo nerd like me. Um, it looks really nice on a background for a flat lay as well. But yeah, I think this was like nine euro, um, totally worth the money to me, mine because I think it is the prettiest little like tray you will ever see. But yeah, really happy with that. So that, like I said, that just lives on my chest of drawers behind me and I use it for all my little cute bits and bobs. <laughs> so the next thing that I have to show you is a keyring. This is of the Eiffel Tower and it also has a little ribbon and a little, like, macaroon. <laughs> Pink macaroon. So cute. I've already put this on my purse, guys, so I can't take it off to show you because it's just too much hard work to get it back on. But I will give you a slight close-up. So this is where it looks like it is just literally a little macaroon, a pink macaroon with a little, t um, what are they called, like, check? I don't know. With a blue bow and then a silver Eiffel Tower. Me and Tali bought the same because of course we both love pink and it is really cute. But that just lives on my purse. And yeah, I just thought it looked really cute. Plus it makes a little jingly noise so that if anybody tries to see my purse from my back I can hear them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, and shout out to Rian for my birthday present. She bought me this purse from River Island, and it's glitter, and it's silver, and I love it, because I love glitter, and my bedroom's like grey as well, and silver matches with everything, and grey is my favourite colour of this time, of this time, at this time. So, yeah, shout out to Rian for buying me my River Island purse for my birthday, because I absolutely love it. So now on to my favourite purchases of all. I couldn't go to Paris and not go in Sephora. I think it is like against the law if you do that. So we took a little trip into Sephora. Don't get too excited though, there is only three items in here. Cause damn, it is expensive. So, what did I buy? Oh well, I bought some goodies. So the first thing that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. I've been after a new foundation for absolutely ages and when we got in there, we were speaking to one of the ladies that worked there um, and Talia actually wanted a um, a translucent powder and she really recommended the By Terry one but when we got there, they was actually out of stock when we got like the little By Terry section. Um, they were out of stock but the Makeup Forever section was right opposite and I'd been tossing and turning um, on which foundation to get and I'd heard really good reviews about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD liquid foundation so I asked her if she could colour match me to that because I suck at colour matching and doing it online is really hard because you just never write. It's just really hard to get your exact shade. 
Charlie. So yeah, she kind of matched me and I originally picked up the liquid one because that's the one that I was um, after in the first place. But then she told me about the stick one and she said that she prefers the stick one and a lot of people that she know who has tried both prefer the stick foundation. Like she said that it has better coverage and everything. So Charlie, if you knock this over, just waiting for my dog to get comfortable guys. So she said that a lot of people prefer this stick one purely because it has a bit more coverage and it feels a lot nicer on the skin. So, and she also said the formula was nicer as well. But I opted for that. So I'm in the shade 125 equals Y3 Y315. I don't know, that's the weird, weirdest like colour code system. But yeah, it literally comes like that. You have a little a tiny lid to put on top and then you just roll it up and that is their foundation stick it is amazing i've actually got it on my face today um and it is just brilliant but yeah if you haven't tried this then i would definitely recommend it i have been wearing it that's my phone <laughs> i have been wearing it ever since i come home and i love it i don't know why i'm putting it back in the box because i was only keeping the box to show you guys on camera but i will uh give you a quick overview of what they claim the ultra hd foundation will do so it says, created for the very latest high definition technologies of the film and TV industry, Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye, perfect for the makeup pros and perfect for you. The Ultra HD stick foundation feels like a second skin and still provides medium to full coverage while looking flawless and natural. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural and comfortable makeup. The creamy texture blends in seamlessly to conceal imperfections. Perfect for touch-ups, the formula glides on and makes skin look even toned and moisturised with a soft satin finish. Great for all skin types, even dry skin. I completely agree. I think the makeup looks amazing on camera. I really feel like it like, smooths my skin out and makes like all my imperfections just like disappear. It is really easy to blend out. I literally like put it on like that, like down my face and then I blend it out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. And again, with the feel of it, I don't feel like it's on my skin and it is perfect for layering. I like quite a good full coverage foundation and this is perfect blendability to do that. I put one layer on, I blend it out. I put another layer on, I blend it out. Boom, you're done. But yeah, so if you haven't tried that out, guys, I would definitely recommend trying that out. And if you are in the UK, we don't have a Sephora here, and unfortunately, I'm still praying that they're going to pull in here, but we don't have one, unfortunately. But they also sell Makeup Forever in Debenhams, so if you are looking to try this foundation, then pop along to your Debenhams and get colour matched, um, because this is a really great foundation, and I would definitely recommend so the next product that I picked up in Sephora and that I was ecstatic about because I've been trying to get my hands on this since it was released, I just couldn't get my hands on it, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Palette. Oh, this is just amazing. It's just amazing. I really wanted a new um, highlighting kit anyway because I've like, all I use is my Jaclyn Hill and Becca one and as much as I love it, I did want to change it up a little bit. So when I seen this, I knew that I was going to pick it up. So it literally comes in a little sleeve like that and it has like a little holographic, all this is in holographic. So you take it out the sleeve and you are left with this. So when you open it, I've already taken the plastic little insert out inside because I didn't want it to fall out. But when you open it, this is what it is looks like it already has my little fingerprint marks in it because I've swatched it the other day to show the girls but yeah you have six um pans you have blue ice star purple horseshoe pink heart lucky clover and blue moon now the only one that I have really used that I um absolutely love is pink heart it's actually my highlight that I have on today I just think it's a beautiful shade and blue moon is the color that I have on my inner corner highlight because I opted for a very minimal makeup look today. Yeah, you can layer these on top of liquid lipsticks, eyeliners, anything like that to get like a duochrome effect. So I'm not going to swatch them all for you, but I will swatch um, Pink Heart because that is my favourite. Like, oh, it is just beautiful. Like, who can honestly say? Oh, excuse. I know this looks big and excuse that. Oh, that is one of those ganglion things that form on your wrist. I know it looks gross. So look away if you want to ask squeamish. But it's like a big ball of like gristle that are formed from like where I file and stuff. But yeah, I'm kind of going off course now. Take no notice of this thing by here. But that is Pink Heart. And then I will swatch another one. I'll swatch Blue Moon because that's where I got on as well. 
oh this is beautiful and then that is blue moon so if you are more of a cool toned kind of person this palette is perfect for you i'm generally more of a um warm tone person i like a golden highlight um rather than a cool tone highlight but i just wanted this palette because i am really dying to use some of it for like eyes as well but this pink heart is just giving me life like i just i love it but i guarantee you i will end up using the rest as well i just haven't been away yet to have a little, proper little play about with it but yeah, I think I paid 40, was it 40 or 50? It was either 47 euros or 54 euros. I can't quite remember, but it is just worth every penny and I didn't really care the price. I just wanted the palette. So I bought it and I love it. And then my last purchase from Sephora, which is by far my favourite because I've been dying to get my hands on this, is the Too Faced Christmas in New York collection. This is the Grand Hotel Cafe and it has three palettes in it and it also has a Better Than Sex mascara in the mini size. So when I seen this here, I knew that I had to get it. I kept it all in the... In the uh, proper packaging because I wanted to show you it all on camera so I haven't even had a like play around with this so it literally comes in the cardboard box let me just pop that back. and then it also has like a little Christmas in New York oh mine's creased a Christmas in New York like little booklet that contains like you know the shades and stuff like that and then the star of the show is this right here so this is the packaging for the um, Christmas in New York collection it is beautiful it is like a little box well obviously it's a hotel and it has a little roof and then you just take the roof off I don't know where I can put anything I haven't got a table in front of me and then you just open the doors and the palettes are inside like literally is this not the cutest packaging in the world like it is just beautiful so down by here you have a little better than sex mini mascara and then you have your three palettes by here so let me just take this off and take the palettes out and we can go through the palettes so you get three palettes in the christmas in new york collection you get the eggnog latte you get the peppermint mocha and you also get the gingerbread cookie and as you can imagine from Too Faced, these palettes are all individually scented. So obviously this one smells like eggnog, this one smells like peppermint, and this one smells like gingerbread. So I'll show you the gingerbread one first. Each of the palettes come with six eyeshadow shades and one um, bronzer or blush. I think this one's the bronzer, but I think the other ones are blushes. But yeah, that is the basic um, layout of all the palettes. Has some beautiful shades. I haven't swatched any yet either, so I'm gonna swatch some on camera for you now, just because I love you and I think you need to see them because I think they're gonna be amazing. So let's swatch Ginger Snap. Holy shit! Winter Dream. Oh my god! And Cup of Joe guys like the pigmentation is real like oosh wow cup of joe is very very pigmented so the top one let me just sort my thing the top one is ginger snap so the top one is ginger snap the middle one is winter dream and the bottom one is cup of joe like that cup of joe ain't lying like that is pigmented as hell Oh, this is so nice. Ginger Snap is like my favourite. That colour. <sighs> that colour totally gives me life. Guys. Literally smells like a gingerbread cookie. I'm not even going to lie. So this is what Peppermint Mocha looks like. Again, you have your six um, eyeshadow shades and then you have your blush down by here. So the colours in here are a bit more pinky toned. Um bits of purple, bits of pink, you know, as you would expect. So let's swatch some of these ones as well. I'm dying to swatch sprinkles. Oh, and Christmas blend. My God, that's giving me life. Let's swatch candy cane as well. Oh, it's too pretty. I can't deal. I'm running out of space here, guys. One, two, Three. Can you see them three? I don't know if you can see them because I got like a bloody bump in the way. 
but yeah that is some of the colours from this palette again nicely pigmented not as pigmented as some of the Too Faced palettes mind um, the pigmentation is lovely and the formula is nice and creamy but like I thought that I thought that would be a lot more pigmented than where it is but nonetheless I just wanted the palette and then the last one is Eggnog Latte oh, I think this might be one of my favourites that Eggnog Latte shade for there and Central Park is just amazing so here is a little close-up of the palette and what it looks like. As you can see, nice um, eyeshadow shades and a nice blush at the bottom. So I'm going to swatch Eggnog Latte. Ah, Cold Brew. Oh my god. And Central Perk. Oh, Central Perk. Reminds me of Friends. I'm going to have to go up my arm. Central Perk. Ooh. Oh guys, can you see? How am I gonna do this? <laughs> can you see? So they are the shades. I know you can't really see them because my arm is at such an awkward angle. But central perk, like <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. And that was it guys, that is all the different things that I picked up in Paris. Not too much, but I am really happy with my purchases and what I come home with. Um, I cannot wait to dive in and use that Too Faced palette. Oh my god, I've literally been holding out to do this video when I had five minutes because I've been dying to use those palettes. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had such an amazing time in Paris. Big shout out to Talia for coming with me. Um, I had an amazing weekend. She really made my birthday special. She is just the cutest person and the most fun person to be around. Everybody needs a Talia in their life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We are so close to 400 subscribers. And I know that might not seem a huge amount to other people, but to me, that is a lot. So thank you so much for all your continued support, all your kind comments, all your follows, all your shares, everything. I really, really appreciate it. So now that I'm back to uploading every Wednesday and Sunday, there's only a few videos left for the festive season, but that is what I'm gonna do today because today is Sunday and it is the the only day really that I have before Christmas to film all of my videos because I'm just chalk block with clients so I'm literally going to be having a filming day today I have a few more videos in mind that I want to film so obviously they will be up before Christmas um, but yeah so again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye holy damn I am hot one video down five to go